Did you finally get your new laptop? Or are you using a PC that is working on Windows 10 just fine but you are thinking to upgrade to Windows 11 anyway? Welcome to Techie Lot, and here is the brief video that could clear your confusion so that you can ultimately decide if you wanted to upgrade to Windows 11 or not. First, here are a few things that are new in Windows 11. Number 1. The ability to run Android apps natively. Microsoft has added this killer feature to its latest OS where you can run Android apps directly from your PC. Although, as of now you could only run these Android apps by downloading them from the Amazon App Store. And Google Play Store support is still not there. Still, something is better than nothing right? Number 2. Improved look and feel. Windows 11 has been updated with a lot of visual changes which are very pleasing to the eye. The rounded corners, the icons on the middle of the taskbar, and many more. There are many other visual changes which we may not be able to showcase in this short video. Comment down below if you wanted us to make a video on the various visual changes in Windows 11. Number 3. Microsoft has ensured to make Windows 11 more secure than the previous versions. There are many under the hood changes implemented that ensures a much safer computing for an average user. Having said that, Windows 11 still has a few annoyances. Number 1. In Windows 10, we could simply drag and drop any file to an application that is already there on the taskbar. This was particularly a time saver as it eliminates the extra effort of opening an app and then open the file to work on. Let's hope this issue would be fixed by Microsoft in the future updates. Number 2. When you right-click on any file on Windows 10, you get many useful shortcuts or actions to perform like you can see here. But this has been changed in Windows 11. Sure, this looks good, but the option list is minimal. You can still access the Windows 10 type menu using this last option. Number 3. Microsoft always wanted its users to use its own products, which is a common thing, but here it seems a bit desperate. In Windows 10, there was only a single option to change the default apps. One click and you are done. In Windows 11 however you must change it as per the file type. This would be particularly annoying for the new users, instead they would continue using Microsoft Edge as default browser. There are many more little nuances that are still present in Windows 11 even today. However, it is reported that there are many changes expected in the next big update from Microsoft. So, the question of who can upgrade and who can skip this upgrade for now. If you are a video content creator, we would suggest you wait. The drag and drop issue which is a very critical feature while editing the videos is not active on Windows 11. If you are a gamer, there won't be too much of a difference in the performance of your game or your experience of your gaming. But if you stream or if you make gaming videos, we suggest you as well to skip this upgrade as of now. But, if you are a normal user who just wanted a good-looking desktop, casually browse the internet, and use your PC for media consumption, you can go with the upgrade because many of the annoying bugs since the release of Windows 11 have already been fixed. We hope this video is helpful in your decision. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, drop a like and share this video with the ones who might find this video useful. Do follow us on Instagram, the link is mentioned in the description down below. Thanks for watching.